What is up you guys? It's Coco. And today we are going to be making some poke bowls. You guys were asking me, how does she stay so skinny? How does she maintain her physique? I still got it. So I don't usually eat unhealthy every day. I eat healthy as much as I can, especially when I'm not filming. I whip up some healthy stuff, organic, really good foods, strawberries, avocados. I do a lot of healthy fats. I avoid carbs as much as possible because that's stored fat, you know? So yeah, today I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest poke bowl, whip up anything that you have in your fridge. Um, here's to give you an idea how to make a poke bowl. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I make personally my own poke bowl, how I like it and what ingredients I usually use. So yeah, let's go ahead and whip this thing up. All right, before we get started, let's make sure we have everything in the table. Let's put our pan over here. Let's start with my favorite yellow peppers. They're so pretty. I love them. They're my favorite in the pepper family. Green, red, yellow. Yellow is my favorite. And then let's cut some avocado. I'm just using half of the avocado, just like well, kind of like a fourth of the pepper because it's so big. It really depends how much you want to use, but this is just how much I use of everything per bowl. I'm gonna go with some cucumbers. Love cucumbers. Cucumbers are my favorite too. I love cucumbers on my sandwiches. It's just, it adds that really good texture and everything, so fresh. We're just gonna use probably like a third. And then let's get started with the cauliflower rice. My cauliflower rice is a little bit frozen, so it's gonna be probably eight minutes to cook this cauliflower rice. All right, let's get started with this beautiful salmon. I usually just like check if the salmon is ready. That's how long it is. All right, let's cook the salmon out. And now we're going to put everything into the bowl together. So pretty. The yellow peppers in there. And the avocado. Yum. And then I'm also going to put some seaweed. I love seaweed. Also love to snack on seaweed. Super low in calorie. Also, before we forget, don't forget to drizzle your poke bowl with some soy sauce. Look how pretty this is. I am such a chef, Lily. Oh my God, I cannot take it. All right, so we're finally devouring my poke bowl. How good does that look? Looks amazing. I'm hungry. This is what I'm only eating today. Yes, one meal today. This is how I do it when I'm not filming. This is gonna fill me up. That is why my portions are big. Like half avocado, half of everything, salmon and almost a whole bag of cauliflower rice. Mm. So good. Mm. So crunchy, it's so fresh. This soy sauce makes it all come together. Avocado. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. You do not need the regular rice. It's all sugar. And it's like the same thing. I mean, not really. The texture is so much different, but... It satisfies my rice craving, the cauliflower rice, so I don't really mind. Seaweed? I love salmon. 
I love poke bowls that have tuna, like raw tuna. But I don't know how to make like to clean a sashimi tuna. And that's just like extra work. And you know, I don't want to risk it because a lot of people get sick from not like thoroughly cleaning their fish. Especially when it's sashimi. So I stick to like cooked salmon. With my poke bowls. Mm. I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. It's like three. This is my keto drink. As long as I'm making the, these uh, keto recipes or like keto ideas, I'm gonna show you how to make keto drinks too. This is just raspberry with a touch of lemon and San Pellegrino water, sparkling water, which is blackberry flavor. Mm. Tastes like a really, really light cocktail that doesn't have sugar. Cheers. Cheers. So refreshing. I like San Pellegrino sparkling water. I don't know. It just tastes so much better than other sparkling water. And I don't know. I'm just really used to San Pellegrino sparkling water. On the sparkling water side, not just water. What about you guys? What are you eating today? Mm. My bangs are so weird again today. I hate my hair so much. Mmm. I can put so much soy sauce in this. Mm. See, I love when I make meals like this because I can eat a lot and not feel like guilty. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I can eat this every day. If you're just like really creative and smart and you're not like... If you're really trying to maintain or I don't know, lose weight, or just be healthy overall. For me, I can turn like things that aren't keto, keto, you know, like. Alfredo pasta. Do you guys know that you can make an Alfredo pasta keto? Of course, you're just not going to use the regular pasta. You got to use the um, zero, zero calorie noodles or the keto noodles. Or squash noodles or zoodles. Of course, it's not the same. But you have an alternative. Plus, Alfredo, pasta, Alfredo sauce is really like keto because it's all cheese. <laughs> what was that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. And I'm already getting full. 
You have no idea how much food we have in this house. I'm not bragging because we always have food, but no, I'm like saying that because I have a lot of leftover. I have a lot of like leftover cake, cookies, and just leftover of everything that I make. You know, and there's only just three of us in the house. So it's like, and my parents don't want to eat like unhealthy too. So mostly like it's just sitting on the table, like sitting around in this house and like nobody wants to eat it. Good thing I have a lot of discipline that I don't just like eat an entire cake, you know. But once in a while I would munch on it. Maybe like two or three bites, but not like eat entirely like a whole cake in one day. Mmm. This is so good. This makes me happy. This makes me feel good about myself. When I make things like this. You don't have to use cauliflower rice. You can use regular rice if you want. Oh. I'm in love with cauliflower rice. The only downside to it is you get really gassy. <laughs> gassy. Oh my god, that drink too is so good. Whoa. I should have a cooking book. Oh. I'm so proud of myself. Yay! For dinner, I'm gonna have a workout. And if I get really, really hungry, I would probably snack on kale chips. I have some kale chips. You can see those in Target, you can find those in Target. It's not the best chips, but when you're really, really hungry, it tastes good. But if you're not really, really hungry and you just wanna snack on stuff, it's not good. But if I'm really hungry, it tastes really good, so. Just save it for when you're really, really hungry. And that way you don't have to snack on like stupid stuff, you know? Alright guys, I am tapping out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.